Welcome back to our video. There's a place I have found in the shade on the ground. Far from a worries and troubling sound. When I go there to be by myself, only me. No one can guess what On last week's video, they saw amazing see. whales, explored Kodiak, got the, the boat sky. fixed, There's saw where the baby salmon live, and killer whales. Yep, this has been an amazing journey. Todd's sail to Alaska has come to an end. He'll soon be home, but we want to say thank you again to Rusty and Nate for the invitation and for sharing their knowledge. Thanks. Well, we've been gone for a month and we came down to check on the boat and get some things out of the storage unit. And we opened the door and saw this. What happened? I have no idea what could have caused this and it's going to take us a while to clean it up. Hello. <laughs> Ryrie's here with me. Todd's still in Alaska. So we're going to get busy. Well, it looks like we figured out what's wrong. Even though they were heavy duty, it apparently didn't stand up to the heat and how hot it got in the storage unit. What happened, you see they got hot and melted and then just crumpled. Those are just completely crumpled. Well, that's as good as I can do. We found the sail that we were missing that needs to be cleaned, which is why we came to look in the storage unit while Todd's gone. Hey everybody, we are going to work on some sails and I'm here at my sister's house with our trailer behind us here. And we have a nice big yard and a nice big driveway to spread everything out. You got the hose? Yep. All right. See how to soak it? Eat it like so. Soap. <laughs> you have soap all over you? Yes! She put it down and it sprayed me with soap. It's not getting any whiter. I don't need it to get whiter. We just need to get the smell off of it. Let's add a little more water. And one more soap. No more soap. Abigail! This is how Look at that icky water. This is how they do it in the olden days. Holy cow, it is hot and humid out here. We've soaked it up and got a lot of nasty off of it. The problem was it was in a cupboard where a bunch of motor oil spilled on it. So it smells like motor oil and it's got some stains on it. Now we're gonna scrub at the spots before we rinse it out. Welcome back, Todd. Boy, are we glad that you're home. We left the camera at home when we picked him up at the airport. Some things are just for family. Thirty-two foot two. Okay, this one is seventeen six. Oh, looks like thirty-two four. So. It symmetrical. could be very close, could be a symmetrical, huh? So the problem is that this is too small for our boat. Significantly too small. How, how much too small? Or is it supposed to be 54 or 52? Symmetrical should be 52 feet. And we're 32, oh. so we're that's 20, 20 feet. feet. That's, 20 that's feet too small. So it is a small, small, small thing, so, so okay. Maybe well. we can sell it. to the car on a Friday night I want to drive with you Looking for a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue We don't have a plan in the night is young It doesn't matter what we do there ain't nobody 6.3 6.3 6.3 6.3 6.3 6.3 6.3 6.3 6.3 6.3 6.3 6.3 6.3 6.3 6.3 6.3 6.3 6.3 6.3 6.3
39 is the typical what they are. So, we're going to need to be charged pretty soon here. These are some old battery cables that were on the boat here. And I'm just looking at them and just shaking my head. I can see why they're retired. They don't work probably worth a crap anymore. So if you can kind of see what's happened here, and I'll flip it over in the back. You can see that crack right there. So this is a case of I don't have a crimping tool, but I do have a hammer, so I'll just smash it flat, and that'll that'll solve the problem. But it wiggles on the wire. I can I can wiggle it. I can feel it clicking on the inside, which means that it is allowing arcing to happen on the inside of here, which is going to cause corrosion into that wire, and eventually it's just going to lose a lot of its conductivity. This one here is a different problem. So this connector here actually is pretty tight. Um, outside of the green corrosion, which happens when it's not properly uh, sealed with a heat shrink tubing, this connector was made with a hammer crimper. Basically it's a device you put over this. It's got a little plunger with a hammer and you smash it with the hammer and it crushes the crimp um, connector down into the wires, which makes a pretty solid connection, but you don't know how many wires have been crushed or broken off on the inside from that crimp. The purpose of buying a, a stranded wire like this is each one of the strands carry electricity and so if you break several of them off you lose a percentage of the conductivity of your wire. As well as you deform this lug to the point where it's almost impossible to seal with a heat shrink tube. And The other problem with this particular wire here is that it's just standard copper wire. When it comes to marine stuff, what you want is a stranded copper wire that each one of these little individual strands is tinned. What that does is it seals the copper inside a layer of tin and helps eliminate probably 90% of the corrosion that happens in the copper wires. that we're going to make today are going to be temporary. We need to just get these batteries charged, so we need to create one set of wires that we can use for that. We're still saving our pennies to create all of the wires that we're going to need to put these battery packs together. Just got back from the marine store, and got our wire, six gauge battery cable, and I got some tin connectors for this. Now, there was a couple different kinds of connectors you could get for this. These are the tinned ones. The other ones were the heavier duty battery connectors, which I would have preferred over these, but they didn't have them in the right size. The smallest they had of those was one gauge. Essentially, the one gauge battery connector would have slipped right over the insulation on this whole thing and fit perfectly over the top of the rubber, which isn't the point because you want to have metal to metal contact so you actually have to strip the rubber off so you can see this diameter here it doesn't fit on at all but it does fit over the top of the metal you can't take a one gauge crimp connector put it on a six gauge wire and expect it to crimp down tight enough to work so the question is when you buy something from somebody who's made that up in the stores are they doing it the right way you may not know you got to learn enough to to be able to catch it on your own so that you know that it's done correctly or you're going to have a problem. So that worked good. Extra tight connection, no, no wire moving around, no clicking, nothing. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey everyone! So we just got back to the boat and we just wanted to show you some of the cool things that you guys have sent us from our Amazon wish list and we just wanted to say thank you so much. We got an anchor for our little dinghy. We got some wetsuits. We got some beach towels. Is this a fire extinguisher? It is a fire, fire extinguisher. What's that? An air horn. <laughs> How does that sound? I don't know. We got some lights. It's a Lucy light. Which is a, a solar inflatable lantern. And we got four of them by some from somebody. Charge outside in direct sun for 10 hours. So it said that red LED means that it's charging. So red. does that mean it's charging right now? Yes, because there's light. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, that's cool. Oh. Oh. It's like magic. Can you also charge it with this? Purple. Okay. Blue. What is this? The smart power bank. I don't know what that For is. For recharging iPhones and stuff. Oh. Oh. It's a solar charger. Oh. Cool. I don't know what this is. Those are vent covers. Kayak. That's not a kayak. It's for when we're on the kayaks or oh. in the dinghy to keep things dry. These are for like plugging up holes. I don't know what they're called. Bones. Bones. That's, that's a weird name. And what is this? a mometer. I know what this is. <laughs> what is it? This is for a phone to get a sink. For water. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> You can put your phone in here. And then you can put this on. Or your keys. Or, or your, your wallet. Is a Ziploc bag? Why would you need keys? Ooh, your phone. Oh, it's on. Oh, <laughs> it's on. Wait, can you do the code? No, yeah, look. Whoa. So here it is, and this is a case for it. What is it for? Here's all of its batteries. It's to measure the wind. Has a little fan inside there. See it. You can fan yourself while measuring the wind. Rubber. It's a rubber triangle. <laughs> that goes on the end of the anchor so you don't yeah. poke yourself. Like this? Yep. Go through your leg. You have to take it apart. For what? Okay. No, not that part. <laughs> this comes off. Okay, I know how, I know how, how they do it. That's literally what I was just doing. Yeah, put this back on it. No. Yeah. Oh, there's parts on your head. Thank you!